My initial reasoning for having the surgery was uh, because of a botched first surgery. Nicole's nose sounds like it was just a classic reduction rhinoplasty. She now has the effects of a, uh, a reduced nose that has aged somewhat poorly. I would say about five to ten years into it is when I started to notice the difficulty in breathing on one side versus the other. The airflow is so turbulent because of her septum being in a poor position that she can barely move air through her nose. I cannot breathe out of that side whatsoever. And then the tip also started to just kind of fall down and kind of resort back to the way it looked to begin with. It was very important to me to find someone who had the, the solid background in you know, this particular surgery or in the plastic surgery and not just ear, nose, and throat. Dr. Calvert is doing the rhinoplasties and he's doing the facial re reconstruction. He's not spending his time looking in people's ears. When I finally did uh, meet with Dr. Calvert, he really opened my eyes to a lot of the techniques that are now being used that, you know, would be available to me. Rib cartilage has given me immense freedom to really rebuild people's noses. I use rib cartilage quite liberally in secondary rhinoplasty because most people don't have septal cartilage who are coming for these operations. Patients who seek me out recognize that this is what I do and the results that can be achieved using rib. Dr. Calvert will also be making an incision uh, right above my ear to harvest fascia off my skull. The fascia is an immense winner for my patient's results. All it is is basically a liner of the muscle that the patients don't miss. Uh, it doesn't cause any disability for the patients whatsoever. And I have to say that uh, I'm, I'm thrilled with the results. The complications are very minimal. This technique has given me a, a significant edge uh, in terms of the results that I can generate for patients who've had previous rhinoplasty. Postoperative edema or postoperative swelling is the fact that the skin and the soft tissue has taken on fluid from the injury that it experiences during surgery. And with that, they really have uh, a nose that does not look like their own. I am very, very aware of just the overall swelling and stiffness of it as if it were a separate entity from my face. A lot of people spend a lot of time and a lot of money trying to do things to get rid of this post-operative swelling. And the reality is, is that it's just patience and time that will get rid of it. You know, obviously the result will take a year to a year and a half really to evolve. And in that time, I'll be seeing her quite frequently to make sure that there aren't things that we don't need to do along the way. There are things that can come up that really need to be handled in a timely fashion to uh, maximize the, the result. Thus far at my six month point, my expectations have definitely been met. So if it looks like this at six months, um, I'm actually very, very pleased. And if it can only get better from here, then you know, it definitely has exceeded my expectations.